Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Tulo, and I'm a medical advisor for stars.org. I'm a practicing cardiac electrophysiologist in New Jersey, and I'm the creator of a number of educational websites. Atrial fibrillation affects millions of people, and it's very hard to make general recommendations since everybody's case may be a little bit different. First of all, some patients have atrial fibrillation that comes and goes. We call that paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, and it can last for minutes to hours or even days before going away. In between these episodes, people generally feel normal, and the episodes may be weeks or even months apart. Some people get atrial fibrillation that persists, and those symptoms won't go away until they see their doctor and potentially receive new medications or a procedure to restore a normal heart rhythm. Now, when someone has atrial fibrillation, there are three problems that can arise. First, the irregular heartbeat can cause symptoms of palpitations or fluttering in the chest. And these can be uncomfortable, but they're generally not dangerous as long as the heart rate isn't excessively rapid. The second thing that can occur is that the heart may not pump efficiently because of the irregular rhythm, especially if the rate is very fast. And that can lead to other symptoms such as lightheadedness, shortness of breath, weakness, and even sometimes chest pain. If you experience any of those symptoms, you should seek medical attention right away. The third problem with having atrial fibrillation is the potential risk of a stroke. Most people with atrial fibrillation are placed on some sort of blood thinner in order to prevent that from happening. So, as long as you're on a blood thinner and you're not having severe symptoms such as chest pain, shortness of breath, or feeling faint, it's probably safe for you to stay at home and not rush to the emergency department. Paroxysmal atrial fibrillation will usually go away within 24 hours, so if the symptoms are tolerable, you can usually wait it out. You can also talk to your doctor about medications to take just when you're having the symptoms. There are pills that can slow your heart rate down and make you feel more comfortable while you wait for the episode to end. There are even medications that you can take as needed to help the atrial fibrillation go away sooner. We often refer to this as a pill-in-the-pocket approach. As long as your heart is otherwise healthy, your doctor may be able to prescribe those types of medications to take just when you need it. You should definitely discuss this question with your doctor and make sure that your risk of stroke is minimized. Sometimes it helps to have a blood pressure monitor available to make sure that your heart rate doesn't get too high or that your blood pressure doesn't drop too low. As long as your symptoms are mild, and as long as you're on an appropriate blood thinner according to your doctor's recommendations, you could probably wait a day or two before seeking medical attention for atrial fibrillation, but definitely call your doctor just to keep them informed of what's happening.